I am a assistant researcher uh, for the Saimatsanik project. Uh, Saimatsanik project is an initiative that was taken by um, Université Laval um, in documenting, mobilizing, and valuing Inuit perspectives of uh, justice, and also to acknowledge and recognize that there are the criminal justice system in Nunavik. Um, we would like to document uh, justice practices within Nunavik from the criminal justice system perspective as well as the Inuit uh, perspectives of justice and to be able to um, mobilize the two and to understand how the two can work better together and also to value um, the Inuit perspectives of the justice system and the criminal justice system as well. So Saimatsanik is about um, connecting the two systems together to document them and to mobilize them so we can better value those practices uh, for the generations to come. Um, I really like that Saimatsyanik is part of documenting um, because it's important that we document both practices. Um, we are in receiving of the criminal justice system as in Nunavik and we would also like to provide some knowledge and experiences to the criminal justice system that is here. Um, so I see Saimat Sanik to be contributing towards friendship, respect and harmony. And to me that is a very respectful, um, a very respectful way of achieving justice. So out of the three workshops that Saimat Sanik has provided, um, I was welcome to help facilitate those. Um, and I witnessed a lot of learning. Um, I was able to learn a lot from the people that were in the workshop. Um, the participants in the workshop have a lot of knowledge to provide, also a lot of teachings. So as much as I walked in to provide a workshop, they also have a lot to provide to the workshop. And that's the beauty of, of it all. I witnessed some friendships happening. Also, I made some new friends, some in the workshops. I saw a lot of respect within the, the workshops and a lot of respect towards Saimatsyanik project as well. And I saw a lot of harmony happening in these workshops. Um, and it was beautiful to see because then I, I get to know who they are. I get to know where they work, what they do for a living. And that just makes us want to be friends and makes us want to connect together. Um, and I think that's the, the highlight of it all, is that we were able to achieve the three main concepts of indigenous law and to be able to discuss them together. I actually get to be a part of a team that is conducting research towards justice, a team that is extremely inclusive of my knowledge and my experiences as well. Um, so for me, this was an opportunity to give back and to see how I was able to learn in the academic setting and how I can bring it back to my community. And I think that's very important for an Inuk person who's going into post-secondary is to be able to gather their knowledge and to figure out how they can um, give it back to the community. And Saimat Sianik allows me to do those things and allows me to take my knowledge and, and to, to share it with other people. Um, so that's how it feels amazing to be an Inuk researcher and to be able to access all this information that I didn't know. I get to find out a lot of authors, a lot of participants towards a lot of um, projects that happened out there, a lot of research reports that happens towards systemic racism and racial backgrounds and um, different cases what does the law mean in Canada and what do cases, all these things, I get to take them, put them in a little box, write Kudra, Quebec or any community and send them in the mailbox. That's kind of how it feels to, to be in research. And the funniest part is it's not only your knowledge, it's other people's knowledge. You feed your knowledge with other people's knowledge and you also get to share your knowledge. It's like food sharing country food, it's the same thing. I think one of the biggest um, mistakes that happens is for an individual to believe that education is the only success. People need to understand that their experiences and knowledge have a huge um, part 
and, and that changes to come. Um, being an Inuk and participating in research um, allows the Inuit perspective to be delivered. So I never want an Inuk to think that they need to go to university before participating in a research. No, their knowledge is already valuable. Um, I left for a university, it's three and a half years now, but that's three and a half years of not speaking my language, not being in my community. Um, and that's the beauty of being able to participate in this particular project. 